ladies and gentlemen, and... Prepare to die. Hello, my name is Prepare to Die 327, and today we have a brand new review for you. Today we're going to be reviewing Red Faction Armageddon. This game takes place quite a few years, actually, if I remember correctly, two generations after Red Faction Guerrilla, one of the best games within the series, showing brand new destruction, well, brand new levels of destruction, and this game continues to amaze us with those levels of destruction. This game has a very, very, very destructive environment. You can basically tear apart everything that you see, including a new weapon like the Magnet Gun, where you can shoot something, then shoot the ceiling, for instance, and it'll literally rip itself apart. Now this all sounds good and fun, but unfortunately there are quite a few flaws. Anyway, we're going to start off with the story first of all. And first of all, this is the very beginning. Um, this is when our protagonist, right there, ends up realizing that they're in the middle of a civil war with a guy named, with the last name of Hale. I can't remember his first name. It's, is it Adam? It's, okay, Adam Hale. And anyway, so they're in a civil war. Eventually, yeah, the war ends after yeah, the terraformer gets ripped inside. apart, and Bring whatever the top equipment Mars you need. is no longer inhabitable. So, he okay, works let's get to work. basically he's salvaging materials for other individuals. So, going on this like massive payday, he ends up unearthing right. these alien Thank creatures for, guess who? Spoiler Adam alert, Adam Hale. Anyway, like I was saying, on to the gameplay. First of all, you're like an unstoppable tank. It's not much that can take you down. Which is actually sounding pretty damn awesome, but the problem is it makes the game really easy. Which is really disappointing, considering that you would think that this game would be a lot harder. Um, nope. Really, it's pretty hard. Like, look at all this. I just now am starting to lose health. Look at that. That's ridiculous. I'm, I'm just now getting hurt. Anyway, there's some infected buildings and other things. Right there you saw the magnet gun again. It's interesting, but it's not that great, unfortunately. I mean, going off of what the last game was, this game could have been a lot more. But, unfortunately, it didn't live up to its potentials. Anyway, continuing on, it does have some positive things. Like, for instance, the customization menu is rather interesting, and I can't get too many complaints about it, except for the game's pretty short. Clip scenes are nice and pretty, and that seems to work really well. And last but not least, the multiplayer really is a downer because it's only got one multiplayer mode. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but that pretty much sucks. And it's basically just defending yourself. So, Red Faction Armageddon gets a 6 out of 10. 